and welcome to my RuneScape tips and tricks for NXT clients, which is very helpful. Oh, trust me. We all know that NXT has issues. And sometimes, if you have a computer, you need help to like run it. Um, so what I have done is to basically uh, make sure that I help you with all I know. So here we go. First, in-game. Well, I mean, you obviously know that you can go and escape the graphic settings and then take the lower Right? You can make custom too and make it like work by itself and see if you like it or not, but usually that's pretty bad for bad computers. And also, if you have the blinking effect, which is a bug when you have a bad computer, just take this lightning detail to low. And then take it back to high ultra and low again if it doesn't work. Or you can re-run re uh, the setup and then take it all back to minimal after. I don't know why it freaks it, but anyway. Okay, uh, that's uh, that for if you lag. Also, um, you can go on uh, control alt delete or right click down on your task bar and go to task manager. And then you see here, uh, you can see if what's like the CPU and memory, which usually uh, it's RuneScape. Look here, it's RuneScape most of here, and it's taking a lot of memory. And CPU, not that much because my computer is good, obviously. Um, you can do it the easy way click on services here, and then go to open services down here. Or th then you get up with this one. Or you can also do uh, the Windows button on your keyboard and then R. Uh, for some reason that doesn't work. Is it S? What? I'm not sure anymore. Why is it not working? Huh. Maybe because I have it up. Windows R. Nope. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Well, I've done it many times and it worked, but okay. Anyway, let's forget about that. Just go for the services and task manager then. And then open services. Um, this is services.msc, I can type it to you, uh, if you want to do it in the search bar and like the Windows search bar thing, which is not working, I don't know why. Anyway, go all the way down to super fetch, which is actually on the first top when I go scrolled all the way down. I didn't, but well, okay. And then um, go to properties. And you stop it. I don't do that because I don't need to. And you take on disabled or manual. You can choose. That's basically helping your RuneScape because it done it doesn't uh, take CPU, which it does because it takes it checks over things more than once. I don't know, but people tell me it's working, and I've tried it. It's working a little bit, not that much. It's helping a little bit though. Um, but yeah, that's just a thing you can do. Also, you have all of these programs. This is an uninstaller, which is nice if you have something you want to uninstall completely. That might uh, conflict with uh, RuneScape. You have D4 Experience, which is really good. Um, I'm not going to show all of these because it's going to take some time. Racer Cortex is basically boosting. I can show you that though. That's handy. You need to make an account. Oh god, I don't I haven't logged in yet. But when if you make an account, then you um, uh, can click on boost, which uh, basically gets you in gaming mood, gaming mod. It's more programs like that. CC Cleaner. I bet you all know this program, or you should be knowing this. It's really good to just click on sometimes, and then it cleans your computer from junk. Driver booster is basically a uh, um, driver booster for free, and this one is paid version, but you can get one month trial. And Discord is what I prefer for you guys. 
if you're gonna use uh, any kind of um, any kind of um, voice chat, I recommend Discord because it takes less CPU and make sure you get the public test version, which uh, I can show you down here. You see the Discord PTB. So public test version, that's the build, I mean, that stands for. I'll send you all these uh, links in the description. And also, I will show you something else. Another tip, if you are hosting for um, portables, and how to use the bracer and the range, because uh, it basically, I mean, it's hard to, um, uh, add because it's so many people stacked. So I'll show you the spots where you can uh, Like Add it easily So let's see If you stand in a stack here and you want to use this range on this range look at this So many names, right? But if you do it on the tip here, you see I can click it with no problems This guy went over there and destroyed all though But here you can right click and then you see only his name the combat manual and the portable range. Since I only have this now, I can just add it if it be helpful. I hosted tons of these, I just want to show an example now. The reason I'm not hosting more now is because I'm 63 mil. I'm kind of done with cooking for now, I'm going for fire making 120. Getting rid of some logs. Uh, well, that was the range, which is really handy. You know the spot of uh, where you put that if you're ever gonna host it. If you're a nice person like me. Um, okay, and now I'm gonna show you the portable blaster bracer. This one is harder. I actually made some use of time to find out this one. Uh, so see, you can not do it here. You cannot do it here. Actually, you can. That's weird. I tried many times to do this, <laughs> and now it works first try. That's what I got every time. I still get it though. But if you just take it on side, it's basically working. Or down there on that one, down there. I did this too, behind the wall. Uh, on my laptop, which worked out too, as you can see. For some, for some reason I can do it here. Uh, on the... On the main desktop, without no problem. Uh, that's really really weird but whatever anyway uh, last tip is uh, if you wanna go to Prif, it takes like eight seconds with the teleport right so I recommend having clown maximum going to Prif with us and then that takes like two to three seconds and then you can search in here and then you're there in like five seconds so you save time every time unless you don't have uh, any bank clothes but yeah, I usually just go to Prif to get the clan portal anyway, so that's really handy with clan vex then. Because, you know, the sexy avatar. Which, yeah, is really, really nice. So, also, if you want a free avatar, you should check out Exernia's Exernia, My Clan, which is really good for free avatar. Look here, it's two avatars right now. No one's using it. All you need to do to get the avatar is to have Pelty rank 3, which is um, basically uh, this 3 stars here. That means you have capped for um, 3 weeks straight and you cap every week after to keep main maintain the 3 stars. And then you can get other uh, rank in a clan and uh, avatar warden. Really simple, and I love the clown because it's the best owner ever. Because it's not like any, it's any drama about you, and then you're out because you just want drama. It's actually like research a little bit, and not like just basically don't believe in rumors easily and stuff, which is stupid because it's usually just lies anyway. So that's uh, good. Yeah, yeah, I love this clown. It's really friendly people too. Well. So that's a 10 minute video on how to um, have any tips in NXT and how to make it run smoother and faster. Hope you enjoyed and now I'll go to Overwatch videos. See you guys, have a nice day, bye bye.